So, are we ready? Yes, we are. Hey, this is Yulia and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Here I talk all things Canada, learning languages, travel in the world. And yes, you've read the title correct. We are living Canada. This is not a drill. This is real. This is happening. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Well, but before we start, first of all, make sure to subscribe to this channel because we are in the process of moving. So I'm not sure when the next video is gonna come. So if I were you, I would subscribe to the channel, turn on all the notifications, and maybe like this video. Second of all. We're not live in Canada. Why? We live in Canada more like what for? Because when you leave a place, why you have bad reasons being like, ew, Canada, we live in Canada. No, we live in Canada because why not? This video is super chill, so I'm just sharing my thoughts, my uh, reasons to why we are live in Canada and the first one I think it's the pain for every immigrant like first generation immigrant who just came from like another country I am from Russia my husband is from Belarus it's like country nearby we still have a lot of family and friends and relatives there and flying from Canada is impossible last time we were home was four years ago so in 20 18 I think 2017 2017 was the last time before like the pandemic happened so moving to Europe will shorten our flights meaning we can see our families more often and the second reason is kind of like similar to the first one is that flying from Canada to Europe we spend at least three four thousand each time we go because for two people it's like a plane ticket which is 800 on average so it's 16 slash 1800 just for the tickets then you have hotels cars food entertainment if you want to buy some souvenirs like whatever bring stuff from let's say europe because some brands they don't sell it here in north america so every time i go to whatever europe I buy some clothes that I cannot buy here. So after doing all the math, we were like, holy cow, we spent so much money on traveling. Maybe it will make more sense slash will be easier to live somewhere in Europe for that amount of money. And then we found out a country that has it all. And for those of you asking, Yulia, but where are you moving? We are moving to Lisbon, to Portugal. Portugal is a beautiful country, very affordable, especially if you have Canadian jobs, Canadian income. I'm not sure if I'm gonna work, if I'm not gonna work. I'm doing YouTube now. I'm planning to expand, you know, become bigger. And you might help me by liking this video, sharing it with your friends. Thank you. So, yeah, I mean, the minimum wage in Portugal, like in Lisbon, is 700 euros while we spend that amount of money on food in Canada. So after a lot of like conversations back and forth, we were like, you know what, let's just like move to Europe, live there and see. I mean, why spend so much money on traveling if you can just spend those money in the country you're going to be living in. Another kind of important reason why we decided to move is because of the pandemic. At first it was okay, it was fine, people were still traveling, restrictions were like fine, but then they were like, you know what, let's do lockdown, curfew, let's do the quarantine hotel, let's do this, blah blah blah, but then they opened the malls, so they were like, uh, you know what, you cannot see your family, but you can go and shop on Black Friday to a mall, and at that point we were like, you know what, we're done, I'm not saying Portugal was bad at handling the pandemic, whatever, they still like behind Canada in many like reasons. Let's say Lisbon now is in lockdown as of like today, uh, June 17th. So this is not the major factor that was like, we're moving. But 
if one year ago me and my husband were like should we buy a house we we're kind of looking into houses here in montreal but then when all this nonsense happened we were like when the next pandemic happens at least we'll be near the ocean drinking wine and enjoying the beautiful weather the beautiful nature around us not like staying in a condo 24 7 and you cannot even go outside because it's curfew another big reason for us as a family is to travel the world before we settle in before we get a house before we have kids before we have dogs mortgages neighbors whatever we want to enjoy our time and you know be like hey let's go to Germany for the weekend let's go to Spain for like this music festival let's go to whatever let's go home for Christmas so we decided that it makes more sense to live in Europe travel the Europe maybe settle there maybe we'll live there for like I don't know five years and then be like you know what let's go to like Bali to Thailand whatever to Asia and live there I don't know we don't know we'll see how it goes but as of now, I'm super excited, I'm super bummed about living in Europe because everything is there. All the music festivals, all the concerts, all the like interesting stuff. I'm not saying Canada is boring, no, Canada is awesome. But, you know, having this opportunity to travel to another country for the weekend like that's what we did here in Canada we were like let's go to Boston let's go to New York let's go to Philadelphia like all the closest American cities we went there and now I'm super excited that it's gonna be the same with Europe because I've been to quite a few countries in Europe and I love them so I'm, I'm super excited many of you asked me Yulia why Portugal why like not Germany not France, whatever. Why did you guys choose Portugal? Super easy. First of all, easy immigration, meaning we got the immigration visa in 30 days, one month. We're not getting any study permits, work permits. We're getting residency when we come to Portugal. That was one. Second of all, you don't need a language exam for that type of visa. So, it's not like here in Quebec, they're like, oh, you should have like B2 of your French. There, they like, we don't want anything. When you get your passport, then you'll need to pass your language exam. Third of all, my dear husband, Alex, love you so much, has been whining for years. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, I want to like go swim in the ocean. Oh, I want to like, you know, nice climate. Considering the fact that he spends like, I don't even know half of his day in the office and then he comes home sleeps and goes back so he's been like i want summer i miss summer but yeah he always wanted to live somewhere where it's kind of warm all the time no snow no nothing we were looking at different options his ideal place would be an island where it's gonna be plus 30 all year round he'll be more than happy but unfortunately or fortunately i hate heat i cannot stand heat when it's 20 25 degrees celsius outside it's totally fine for me when it's like 30 and you downtown you have this hot cars and like buildings no merci i hate it i can't so the closest island to the europe to the land was canary islands but again, I was like, dude, this is too hot for me. I want something like, you know, mild. Or I want a country where I can be, okay, it's 20th of December. I want Christmas, I want snow. I buy tickets for 30 euros to Germany. I have it all. So after a lot of talking and exploring and talking to lawyers and like immigration lawyers, we found out that Portugal will be the best option for us because of the easy immigration perfect climate affordable prices for like living for renting for buying so we decided to try ourselves in a new country so today is 17th of june we are living i think in a month realistically like mid-july because we need to finish like all the stuff sell things 
donate things, you know, paperwork, whatever, a lot of stuff. But also we want to enjoy last weeks with our friends, with our family. I'm super random now at posting videos, stories on my Instagram. I'm trying my best, but again, I realized that we would live in forever. I mean, obviously we're gonna come back to Canada and visit our friends and families, but at this point I'm kind of, you know, enjoying my time here, drinking my favorite drinks in my favorite bars, and getting ready to move. Yeah, we need to pack a lot of stuff, we need to ship a lot of stuff. As for the cat, some people ask me like, oh, what happens to the cat? Well, obviously he goes with us because I'm not that cat parent who's like, oh, you know, the landlord said we cannot have a cat in the apartment. Well, my cat go first before the apartment or whatever. If the landlord says no pets allowed, then we'll find another place because there are always options. I'm 100% positive that you can always find a place to stay with your cat, dog, hamster, parrot. And this is it for today. I hope I answered all your questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram, to my YouTube. If you still have questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll try my best to respond as fast as I can because, you know, these times are super hectic. And I'll see you very soon, hopefully. Bye!